Hola, hola. Uh, so you are now watching the video for the lesson that we are going to have today, Wednesday, el miércoles 15 de noviembre. I hope that you are doing good this morning. Um, please, I hope that you are happy today. If you're feeling a little bubbly or maybe tired. Um, anyway, I wish um, I send you all the good advice <laughs> so you have a good day. I'm still uh, in recovery right now after surgery. The, my surgery was on Tuesday. So I'm hoping that I can see you um, back on Friday. Let's see how that goes. So for now, I am going to explain you what you have to do today, Wednesday, as the lesson for my Spanish class. So uh, first of all, um, I want you to um, get this paper. So this paper is going to be provided to you by the sub, and uh, um, you will have to cut the questions, yeah? And then you will have to glue them on your notebook. You know the drill for these kind of questions, yeah? So I'm going to go over each of these questions. And then what I want you to do is I want you to practice these questions verbally first. So you will cut them. Um, and then this up will give you time to practice with each other. So you guys will kind of um, ask each other the questions. Uh, and then you are going to complete the answers in writing after that, yeah? So let's go over each of these questions and see how you can answer to have an accurate um, develop of the learning for these questions, yeah? So we do have the first one. ¿A qué hora tienes la clase de matemáticas? Um, so you are um, also, besides asking for math class, you are going to ask for three more classes, yeah? ¿A qué hora? So if you remember right, ¿a qué hora means at what time? So we do learn, when we learn time, we... Div um, kind of review two questions. ¿Qué hora es? Which is, what is the time? And ¿a qué hora tienes? So at what time do you have certain events or certain classes? Yeah. So when we are answering these questions, you have to differentiate um, when you're saying it is and when you're saying at. So remember, if somebody asking, ¿a qué hora? So at what time do you have to say at? And in Spanish, we use a la or a las. A la is between 1 and 1.30. A las is any other time of the clock. If you remember right, it's a, a way to specify the gender, right? So hopefully you remember this. So in here you will say, Yo tengo la clase de matemáticas a las 8 de la mañana, right? If your class is between 1 and 1.30, you will have to say a la. Um, please ask for three more classes, like what time you have Spanish, at what time you have uh, English, at what time you have um history yeah so use your labels in spanish to be able to ask these questions again this is a speaking activity which is the major 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 part why we are in this class so make sure that you guys practice these speaking sections um ¿Qué hay en tu escuela? what is in your school remember if we, when we learn i i means there is there are so if i'm asking you ¿Qué hay en tu escuela? um you will have to say i and then, una uh, biblioteca, hay un salón de, hay muchos salones de clase, or like 100 salones de clase. Like there are many classrooms, right? Or you can say, hay una oficina, hay, so like, please give me at least five things that you can tell me what West High has. Offices, hallways, classrooms, libraries, etc., etc. So give me five places. ¿Qué hora es? What is the time? So you guys already know how to say the time. So please make sure that you respond with the technicality that I taught you. Remember, when we're saying the time, we are going to respond son las or es la. Es la is between 1 and 1.30. Son las is for any other time on the clock. Then we have, ¿qué prefieres más? ¿La clase de inglés o la clase de arte? So prefieres means prefer. What do you prefer more? So this is a new verb. So I'm going to ask the sub to let you copy this verb into um, your notes. So open your notebook, copy this verb, because actually this is a new verb for you. So make sure um, that you copy it into your notes. So pause the video and go ahead and copy the verb. Empezar means to begin or to start. Um, so to say I begin, I'll say yo empiezo. And then I'm going to put an A next to it. Yeah, yo empiezo la clase or yo empiezo la clase de español. I begin Spanish class. 
a las or a la, that's when I say at, yeah? Tú empiezas, él, ella, usted empieza, nosotros empezamos, vosotros empezáis, ellos, ellas, ustedes empiezan. So again, pause the video, copy this verb, and then continue the video. I assume that you paused the video already, yeah, to make these notes. I will be checking this note later. Make sure that you will have it, yeah. So if we know that empezar is to begin, then when we go back to our questions, is ¿qué prefieres? Um, and that is the verb preferir, yo. Preferir, so preferir. So if I want to say I prefer, you will say yo prefiero. La clase de arte. I prefer our class. Yeah, that's how you answer that question. ¿Qué clase tienes por la mañana? Por la mañana, you have these concepts on your vocabulario. And I believe they are on page number... Um, let me check. Hold on. Um, I know that you... If you go to page number... Uh, two, I believe. Number two. You do have, um, on page number two, you do have these little sections in here that has this vocabulary like, por la mañana means during the morning. So what classes do you have in the morning? So then you will have to respond um, with multiple classes, right? So you will say, well, uh, por la mañana, uh, and I'm going to give you an example here. ¿Qué clases tienes por la mañana? Uh, you will say, por la mañana. And mañana has a tilde. Yo tengo la clase de español, la clase de matemáticas, y la clase de inglés. That's how you respond that question. Again, make those notes. So you understand how to answer these questions when you're practicing, yeah? So that's what classes you have in the morning. ¿Qué clases tienes por la tarde? So por la tarde means in the afternoon. Again, you find these concepts right here on page number two at the bottom. Go ahead and uh, highlight them with your marker, yeah? ¿Qué, tienes, ¿Qué clases tienes por la tarde? Well, instead of saying por la mañana, so you say por la tarde yo tengo... So, por la tarde, yo tengo, and then just say all the classes that you have after lunch, yeah? Uh, then we have, ¿qué te gusta hacer en tu tiempo libre? Name six things. Like, what do you like to do on your free time, right? So, I like to write, I like to eat, I like to read. So, that's when you say, a mí me gusta, and then an infinitive. So, you should be able to answer that with six elements in there. ¿Cuál es tu materia favorita? Materia is the same class. What is your favorite class? So for this one, you will have to say, mi clase or mi materia favorita, yeah, es. Or we can say, mi clase favorita es. Or we can say, mi asignatura favorita es. These three options means class. So you can use either or, yeah. Mi materia favorita es la clase de arte, our class, yeah. So that's how you will respond to that question. So, clase, that is uh, what you have to do with these questions, yeah? So, again, glue them on your notebook. And then speaking portion, the speaking portion should last about probably seven minutes where you guys get to ask back and forth. Make sure you do it. Make sure you don't skip this portion, okay? I'm going to expect you when I come back that you guys are already familiar with these questions, and I'm going to start throwing the ball to ask you. So, make sure that you practice. Um, also, once you already practice that back and forth verbally, then you are going to now do the writing portion. So the writing portion is pretty much asking you the same questions, but now you are going to respond in writing. So no in speaking, but in writing. So we are covering reading standard, writing standard, and listening and speaking. We are covering all the standards today, okay? So make sure that you differentiate each of them and give them the, the specific time um, and you don't kind of waste time in the speaking section, yeah? So again, please, the numbers uh, is telling you like the items that I want you to specify. 
for each of the questions, yeah? So complete the full sentence in Spanish answering these questions, and that will be your assignment for today. Again, this is Wednesday. Um, if you finish early, you do have, um, I will say, one more um, activity that I want you to do. Again, if you finish early, right? Uh, so it's a bingo card. So I want you to uh, wedge your table, grab a bingo card, and play time. So one of you will be the one saying the time. And then uh, the rest of you will be kind of like covering and bingoing um, this game. Yeah. So again, this is if you have time to complete more, that's what you will complete. Classe, again, um, today I'm more available because I'm out of surgery. Hopefully I can be awake and out of pain to, so I can answer any questions. If you have any, please send me a Remind 101. And uh, if not, I will see you hopefully Friday, but uh, you will see me in video tomorrow, Thursday. So, ciao. Love you. Bye.